Oh, it looks like it's going to be another beautiful day out here at the Yaha Tinder Ranch. I slept in a bit this morning. I'm kind of tired from yesterday's excursion up Warden Rock. But when the weather's like this, i got to get out there and make the most of it. So I'm going to try to ride my fat bike a wee bit further out on that road that I was on yesterday, about 20 kilometers or so, and I'll see what I can find. That road, it crosses into Banff National Park at a certain point, so I don't know if there's going to be a big sign out there that says no bicycles, and I can't really do any research right now because there's no cell service out here which is kind of nice to uh, just disconnect for a while it's not the same when you're in a city and you just put your phone in airplane mode it's nice to be uh, truly disconnected I did have uh, cell service for like a brief second up there on Warden Rock yesterday but it was so cold up there and windy I just I didn't even look I just wanted to get out of there and back down that mountain but yeah let's go do it again I didn't think that last line was the official one. Looks like the end of the line for my bicycle here. I'll have to look at the map, see what I can do. That is unfortunate. Anyway, it's time to trade the bike in for a horse. They're allowed through here. Yeah, I want to bike way further. The stuff that I want to reach is like really far away. I don't know if I can do it on foot. But I'll do what I can. Dance, monkey, dance. ridiculous as much as I want to go up there and take a look it's just too much work right now I'll come back in a month when this snow is melted away and I can just walk right up here in my boots I think I'm overdue to head into the city get resupplied figure things out get all cleaned up again uh, there's a few things that I want to do back in the van so I'll see you there I don't think I'm gonna do any camera work on the way uh, it's a significant distance I'm a long way from home right now and I just want to I just want to get back I'm normally a beer drinker, but these Caesars are delicious. I wanted to show you guys something once I got back to the van, but I gotta be over there down by the river in order to demonstrate it. And I guess that's the premier spot because there's a bunch of people there right now. And I'm not comfortable talking on camera when other people are watching, so we'll just have to uh, wait for tomorrow morning and hopefully I can give it a shot then. But yeah, I'm kind of running low on food. I'm going to have this Annie's pasta for dinner and uh, throw in uh, some smoked paprika salami and red pepper and onions. So at least I have a couple vegetables in my diet. a spot here to try this out. So this is the MSR Gravity Works uh, water filter. I'm just going to run down to the river over there, fill this thing up, give it a good rinse out too probably, and uh, then we'll see how it performs. Just let it rinse out for a minute there. Okay. Well, 
that's easy enough for me. You can't freeze this filter. Uh, if that happens, it's destroyed. So I'm gonna have to be really careful on those uh, cold nights to keep this thing warm. This container is four liters, so we'll do this one and see how long it takes. They should have put a clip on the bottom so you could position it like this. Oh, we're full, and that is eight minutes. All right, let's get out of here. Let's head to the city. There's a little four by four hill climb track over there. I'm gonna try that on my way out. I noticed there's some silt forming at the bottom of the bag, so I'm guessing this is a part of the design. You're not supposed to drain it all the way to the bottom. Alright, just a quick stop here in the city to get resupplied and figure things out. I'm going to head south this time to the Pincher Creek area, see what I can find. Hopefully the back roads aren't too plugged up with snow down there. But I'm uh, soaking some chicken drumsticks and buttermilk right now, so we can stop halfway there and make up some uh, fried chicken. <music> Alright, so it's time for some roadside fried chicken here. I've already uh, put together my flour mixture. There's a bunch of different spices and things in there. And in the frying pan, that's just an egg. So I have to dip the drumsticks in the flour, the egg, then back into the flour, then into the air fryer pot. So let's do this. One done. I don't like the looks of this. Oh, it's one of the messier meals that I've ever done. My coverage on the first one was a bit better than the last one. A cup of flour wasn't quite enough for uh, five drumsticks. I'm gonna uh, air fry this at 390 for 26 minutes and we'll uh, turn them over at the halfway point. It's getting hot in here. Oh yeah, I stopped it a few minutes early there. I was worried that they might burn. They look like they are done. Well, that was a pretty satisfying roadside meal. It's just getting really hot in here. I just uh, wish I had some kind of cold and refreshing treat to go along with this. I went years without having a freezer in my life, so this is so amazing that I can uh, have this now. I do have some vegetable-y things to go along with this meal, but I'm gonna save that for later. I'm gonna hit the road again uh, down to Pintry Creek. Ooh la la, a new Walmart that I've never stayed at before. How elegant. I just gotta go get some gas, get myself prepared so that I'm ready to take off bright and early tomorrow morning. Well, it's taken me a long while to get to the vegetable part of my lunch, but I think it's finally time to do this. I'm gonna have some potato salad to go along with that uh, fried chicken that I had about six hours ago. Uh, I've got uh, the hard boiled egg, onion, celery, and uh, the potato. I'm gonna start out by uh, boiling that on the induction because I got an hour drive tomorrow to uh, get to the trailhead so that'll be enough to charge up my battery again. This is your entertainment for the night. So I'm gonna boil up some potatoes. Not quite as entertaining as watching paint dry but I'm getting there. I think I want like a half cup of mayo. 
smoked paprika, celery salt, salt, pepper. I'm going to let the potatoes cool off for about 20 minutes, so through the magic of video editing, I'll see you real quickly. Really good. I like the smoked paprika in there. It's warm flavor to it. I'm going to finish this off and uh, clean up, and i got to go to bed and try to get up early tomorrow to head down to uh, Waterton Park. I'm going to see if I can do uh, two different summits down there tomorrow. This is the first morning of the year. I haven't had to turn on the diesel heater. It's finally getting warmer. I'm in uh, Waterton National Park this morning. I'm going to try to do the Hawkins Horseshoe Loop. It takes in three different summits, uh, Blackiston, Hawkins, and Lynham. And the wind was ripping all night long. It's still ripping now. I have a feeling it's going to be really frantic up there. And I also have to make sure that I pack in my bear spray. There's a story in the news not too long ago. Someone was followed by a grizzly bear in this park. But he had his bear spray in his backpack and uh, the bears aren't going to wait around for you to get that out. So i got to make sure that I keep it in my pocket and within reach. I was planning on doing something different today, but the road up Red Rock uh, Parkway was closed for some reason. So I just did a quick Google search, came up with this. There's a few main blogs in the area with uh, trip reports. Steven Song has got a lot of good ones, but today this is a uh, Bob Spearco track. Thank you, Bob. So that was the summit of Mount Blackiston. Now I gotta do the horseshoe all the way around. Hopefully it's not blocked like three quarters of the way there and I have to turn around, come back. But the wind isn't all that bad. I thought it was gonna get ripped to shreds up here. And I also uh, remembered that my Parks Canada pass has expired by like 10 days. So hopefully I don't come back to a ticket on my van. So it's Mount Hawkins, summit two of three. I gotta make my way all the way around here now to the grand finale, Mount Lynham. I'm seven hours into this. Got another like two and a half kilometers to get up there to Lynham Peak, then it goes straight down that slope. Kind of worried, it looks like there's a lot of snow in the trees. That could be uh, very hard going back to the van. So that's the end of that chapter. Uh, United States is right over there. You can see Mount Custer and Chapman Peak. The border is uh, right at the end of that lake. But it looks like there's some weather incoming. So I'm going to get down from here and I'll uh, see you back at the van.
Arts Canada. No tickets. All done. Let's go get some food. I'm gonna be a slacker tonight. I don't know if it's obvious or not, but this is the next morning. I spent another night at the Walmart in Pinchy Creek. I had my burger and uh, I fell right asleep. I was really exhausted after that hike yesterday. I wanted to do some uh, gear reviews in this video, but this thing has gone on a lot longer than I expected it would, so I'll have to save that for the next one and wrap this one up here. So thanks for watching, and thank you to Patreon supporters, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I'm totally stuck. Oh no. Holy. I can't get out. Oh, there's one. <laughs> that was interesting. I've never had that happen before. <laughs>